Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Donghan Hu. Uh, today, I'm going to give a presentation about our paper. The topic of our paper is screen track using a video history uh, of a computer screen to retrieve documents and web pages. Interruptions is inevitable for modern knowledge workers like unexpected interruptions from your colleagues or email notifications from your phone. They just pop out. Like in this cartoon, a programmer is thinking about algorithms, but then interrupted by others. All these efforts are lost due to this small mistake. After interruption, we need to resume the unfinished task and task resumptions really takes our time. And interruption and task resumptions are also problems in improving our working and studying productivity. Uh, there are two different challenges in the task resumption procedures. First, I need to remember what I was doing in the past. Was I reading, writing, or replying to an important email? And the second challenge is, is where is the document that I was doing? Because there are so many applications that we use in our computers, and there are also many documents for each application. Uh, current applications have functions that help users resume previous tasks and reopen the documents that they used before, like browsing history in a web browser. This is a screenshot from the Chrome browsers. But here's the problem. All this URL and titles are not efficient enough for us to help us to recall and resume our previous tasks. For example, at the first one, Look at the first one. I'm really confused whether this is the paper that I'm looking for just with this random number and dot in the titles. And for the second one, what is this? This is kind of just uh, many random characters. So it's, it really confused me to figure out what I was doing in the past. Uh, another problem in the computer is that history is stored across different applications. If I forgot which application I used to open a specific document, I may spend a lot of time on reviewing each history list. Also, one may, uh, one people may use many applications to resume a task. So connections among documents in different applications will be lost in the peer application histories. So if I open a PDF in the preview, I may get lost in the Adobe history. Adobe Reader's history. And now, based on those uh, challenges, here are the motivations of our paper. Uh, we designed and developed an application that facil facilitates task resumption for both mental reconstruction and document retrieval. Uh, this application has a single history of uh, computer activities for multiple applications. And it also has a feature to relaunch different app software and close documents, previous closed documents. And eventually, this should be a less time consuming method compared with existing functions, for example, like the history list function. Uh, our main approach to achieve this, uh, those motivation is utilizing visual history providing not only textual cues, but also visual cues in temporal order about past computer activities for users. A number of researchers find that watching visual cues can help people reconstruct mental context ac accurately. Here are some images and screenshots from the previous uh, research, uh, which, using, which use visual history to help people. And also watching recorded video is also used as a usability test method as an alternative to think aloud method. You can see they also use they use the many screenshots in their applications to help people recall and remember what they were doing in the past. And this is a screen track, uh, what we designed in our paper, drawing ideas from existing work work of visual history, we design and develop a screen track. Screen track can help users resume tasks by providing a tablet video of their computer screen and letting them reopen documents from the snapshot. This is the main user interface of screen track. 
On the left side, it looks like a normal media player which can display the time blast video. Uh, the left side. And on the right side, uh, users can review related information at the same time based on the left images. For example, this is a screenshot of the Chrome. So here it will show the page URL and page title. People can recall what they were doing, what they were reviewing based on these images. Uh, now let me show you a live demo of the screen, screen track. And uh, you can see this is the small icon of the screen track. And if I click this one, it will jump out the configuration windows. Here people can input some values like time interval. Like for example, this is three means the screen track will take the screenshots every three seconds. And this is the uh, day length that how many days you want to storage those images. And this is slider, you can change the value to comprise the screenshot images or not. And after you, uh, you can click this button to see that user interface. And I have uh, record my kind of like uh, computer activities yesterday and I record and here's other images. You can see I can drag this slider from the left to the right so I can review those images quickly or I can just play it as a time-lapse video just by clicking this button. Then it will play those images automatically. If you think the speed is kind of too slow, you can change the player speed here and it will play faster or not. And if you are looking for some images, you can just click those two buttons to review them one by one. It will help you to locate images quickly. This button to let you to go to the back end and this to go to the first one. And now, for example, if I was uh, I want to bought a gaming chair and I found oh this is uh, what I was looking for, so I can just click this open button, and then uh, the images just pop out in the Chrome. And not only for the browser, it can it also works for the local app documents. For example, I will show you like I was. Uh, editing this every protocols passed and I want to continue my unfinished work. I also can just click this open button. Then it will help us to think the software will open automatically. This is same files that I was working on. It's kind of easy and easy to use. And here are the design goals for our screen track. Uh, uh, we want to present video, video cues, cross application retrieval, privacy concern, and disk space usage. As you can see, we save all the images locally, so no images will be uploaded to the internet. So we can, we can, can assume that it's kind of secure for users to store their those images. And we also, the screen track can also delete images which were taken too many days ago to save this space usage. And we ask three, three research questions in our paper. That screen track reduce time for retrieving, uh, retrieving compared with existing method. What are users' perceived values and concerns? And how screen tracks spot users for task resumptions? The first two questions will be answered through the, our first user study, and the result of the user study too can answer the last questions. Uh, <laughs> This is the overall of our two user studies. For the first one, user study one, it is a web searching experiment and retrieving previous closed web pages. And for the second user study, they asked participants to create a presentation slides for making travel plans. These two are both using subject experiment and they have two conditions. 
One condition is control, control conditions, which means that the users are not allowed to use the screen track to help them to retrieve or to review their or even to watch time plus video. And for the second condition is experimental condition, which means that users can use the screen track freely. And for the first user study, we recruited 20 university students and the average age is around 26 years old. And the first one is not a longer user study. It only takes about 1.5 hours. And this is the procedure of the user study one. So participant is asked so what are you doing? Uh, so Okay, so someone needs to be muted, maybe. Okay. Uh, participant is asked to surf, uh, to surf furniture web page to pick up, uh, to pick their favorite furniture. And you can see they have two conditions: one is control condition, and other one is experimental conditions. After each twenty-five minutes, I will ask participants to reopen their favorite furniture web page in two different conditions. Last, like I ask these questions, could you reopen that web page of the coffee table that you described? And we will measure the time it takes to, for users to reopen the pages of their choice. And this is a screenshot from one participant recording during the experimental conditions. Uh, this participant found that his favorite furniture was a sofa and just in the time lapse and they can, he can just simply click the open button then the page was opened automatically. It's kind of easy to use and not take too much, too much time. Now next I will show the results of the user study one. As you can see, screen track is more efficient. Participants spend less time with the help of screen track to reopen their wanted web pages. It is 27.1 seconds compared with 42.9 seconds in the control conditions. Hence, there is a 58.3% gain in productivity, and they use the repeated measure ANOVA method. Uh, we then further looking into the data, we find that participants are getting faster over trials from the first trials to the third trials. 16.4 uh, seconds spent in the third trial is much faster than the first trial in average, which was 38.1 uh, seconds. So this result shows that screen track has capability to improve user performance in the retrieving digital resources. Uh, how participants use screen track? Uh, when we were go back to the recording, we find that participants use all three different methods for retrieving digital resources. Like they drag the slider, they click the buttons to locate images, or they uh, just uh, replay the time lapse video from the beginning to the end. And they gradually, mo gradually more prefer using the slider to help them locate those wanted images. And I think that's the reason why they are getting faster and faster. Uh, from the interview part, we can say that screen track is easy to use and intuitive according to the feedback. Like what participant four said, it is easier to use and compared to the web browser history and they can just uh, direct me right to the web page, which is pretty cool and easy. Also, half the subjects discovered that benefits of retrieving digital resources across application from a timeless video, like what Pisa said. Uh, uh, I just want to email across many applications, different applications, applications, not only restricted with only one application. Yeah. And another finding is that participants are concerning about privacy problem and disk storage problem. Uh, they worry about their personal information is stored securely or not. And storing too many images is not good for their computer desks. Now let's move on to the user study tool. And also this is the procedure of the user study tool. Uh, 
uh, they recruited eight participants this time, and they asked them to make travel plans for two different places, LA and Hawaii. Uh, they still have some conditions, control and experiment, which means they use the screen track, yes or no. And the difference from the user study one is that we set a time interval, which is at least 48 hours between two visits. Uh, this is a longer term in task resumption experiment, and we want to uh, test uh, the task resumption, resumption whether it's helped with our screen check. And now let's look into the result. Like in the study, we consider overall, uh, first, in, in this study, we consider overall resumption time includes file finding, open, and initial editing in the file that they were working on. So the result shows that participants spend less time in overall resumptions. So the dark green means the file, the time spent on file finding and open, and the light green shows the time they spent before, uh, uh, between they open the file and start initial editing. We can see that those four participants have the shortest resumption time with the screen track and also the P8. It is also have a middle time, but it's much faster than people who didn't use the screen track. And this is also a, screen a screenshot from the recording of one participant in user study two. Uh, the particip participant can recall what he was doing and thinking in the past with the help of these images. Like he was browsing this website and he was thinking some ultimate case bucket list for their travel plan for his travel plan. And not only a participant can reopen the web page from the screen track, this web page, web page also reminds them that the trip needed to be kid friendly. And he can just click this open button and he will go back to this web page and to see where he was. Uh, we still have some limitations and future work in the future. So, for example, first, we still need a medium or longer term user study in the future maybe because our current user study lists no more than four days. So maybe in the future we will design and implement user study like more than three weeks or maybe even one month. And we still need to test heavy workload tasks for ecological validity. Now two user studies are both in lab studies. So we want to distribute our software to the participant and let them to use it in their normal daily life. At least, at last, uh, we still need more efficient method to protect uh, to protect users' personal information and consider more about the disk storage spaces. Maybe some in encryption method to help them to secure their personal information. And the last page is the research contributions for our paper. Uh, we provide an idea of using visual history to help people retrieve digital resources like documents and uh, local files or web pages. And we designed and developed an application called ScreenTrack to archive design goals. The last one, and we used the quantitative and qualitative evidence to demonstrate the effectiveness of our screen, uh, our system as ScreenTrack. Yeah, uh, that's all. Thank you. I do have any questions.